So do you struggle with anxiety? Well, then keep watching. I'm going to share with you a tip on how to keep it under control. My name is Annie Skizzlebash. Thanks for tuning in. Now, your mind operates on a continuous habit loop of thoughts, most of which are absolute BS. Okay? There was a viral video, for example, there was a viral video of a, of a young girl. She must have been about 18 months, 18 months old, where she was crawling on the floor, crawling, pulling herself along on the floor, and she pulled up to herself to the TV screen, to a great big TV screen, and she started swiping it. Hang on a second, why isn't the screen changing? Now, obviously, her only uh, interaction with the screen is one that you do swipe, right? Maybe she has, she's playing, maybe the iPad as a babysitter. <laughs> anyway, so imagine, right, that was only after 18 months. After 18 months, she had been conditioned to believe that. Can you imagine after how many decades, how many things have conditioned you? Hmm? Your mind operates on these continuous habit loops of thoughts and beliefs. Like I said, most of which do not serve you, which is essentially what anxiety is. It's this thought that goes over and over and over, and which attracts another thought and another one and another one, usually all the bad things that can possibly happen. And that's causing the, the feeling, that's how it manifests as anxiety, like shortness of breath, that literally feels like a on the verge of panic attacks, right? That's, that's how it feels. But it's possible to stop this. It is possible. It's simple, but not as easy as it sounds. Here's what you do. You create an anchoring thought. What does an anchor do? An anchor helps ocean liners stay steady in the sea. Equally, an anchoring thought helps steady you when you're out in the sea of stress and the storms of stress and anchoring thoughts can help create steadiness for you. So what is an anchoring thought? It's simple. It's a, it's a thought that you focus on. It's a simple thought you focus on. And this anchoring thought is your desired outcome for whatever situation it is that's causing you anxiety or stress. For example, you're about to give a talk. For me, it's a, it's a, it used to be an incredible source of anxiety not anymore because I've now really trained my brain. But for example, uh, public speaking. If that causes you stress, if you have to stand up before people, give a talk, your mind habitually goes in this negative loop, blah, 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 right? It doesn't serve you. But what you can do is create an anchoring thought on your desired outcome. Now, what might a desired outcome be? Well, in my scenario, it would be something like an enthusiastic and engaged audience who are who've got a lot of value out of it and they can't wait to implement and they felt a change and a shift, that sort of thing, right? So that would be an anchoring thought, focusing on the outcome, focusing on the desired outcome. Or imagine if you're being interviewed, right? What might a desired outcome be in an interview? Getting the job, obviously, right? So one, one vision might be the person shaking your hand enthusiastically saying, I can't wait to start working with you, something like that. So focus on that. Instead of worrying about, otherwise your mind will run free, worrying about all the, the bad things or the things you might go. Use that as an anchoring thought. Think about that. So what's causing you anxiety right now? What causes you anxiety in your day to day? Now imagine what your desired outcome would be in that scenario. What would your desired out, what is your desired outcome? It might be reaching your destination safely, or making your flight, or leaving the exam hall, having answered all the questions, and they were the questions that you actually trained for. Isn't that great when that happens? So get clear on, in every scenario that tends to cause your anxiety, get clear on what your desired outcome is, right? And then create an anchoring thought based on your desired outcome. And then focus on that and ignore everything else, all right? Use that to anchor you and steady you. If you let your mind run free, it will rerun its old habit loops. Because when you're in a fearful state, that's what it does. It just repeats the old habits over and over and over again. Instead, use an anchoring thought. With an anchoring thought, what you're doing is creating new habit loops, empowering habit loops that will help propel you instead of derail you. So that's one way of keeping anxiety under control. So tell me how you get on. And do you know anyone struggling with anxiety? If so, please share this. Please help me help more people. 
please share it with them. You never know, you might make their day. Actually, share it with as many people as you can because it's the strong, quiet ones that we really need to look out for, right? So please share this with as many people as you can. You never know, it might make someone's day. Remember, it's the tiniest, tiniest actions that makes the biggest difference in our life. So thanks for sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Annie Skizzlebash, helping you awaken your potential.